Is it the right time to buy or sell plug power stock? In this video, we will take a deep dive into plug power. Our initial report was published on our website on Tuesday, November 14, 2023. And now, we are here to provide you with a more detailed analysis. Make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and turn on the notification bell to stay updated on our latest analysis. You don't want to miss any crucial updates that could impact your investments. Enhance your trading decisions by trying our newly launched AI stock analysis tool powered by GPT-4 at stockinvest.us. Tap into the power of AI and get free price predictions and deep analysis for any of the 25,000 companies worldwide today. Please note that this video is for informational purposes only and should not be considered as financial advice. Since November 6, 2023, our system has identified Plug Power as a sell candidate, with a score of negative 3.81. Now let's dive into the stock's performance during this period. The stock has experienced a significant loss of negative 32.43%. This means that on average, it has been losing about negative 4.63% every day since it was listed as a sell candidate. The stock is currently experiencing a significant downward trend, indicating a potential further decline in the short term. Based on the past three months, there is a projected decrease of minus 36.37% over the next three months, with a possible return ranging from minus 48.68% to minus 1.46%. Looking at the 12-month trend, there is a forecasted minus 48.39% change over the next year, with a potential return between minus 67.56% and 22.55%. This suggests a price range of $1.37 to $5.18 after 12 months. Today's update for Plug Power is quite interesting. The stock price had a volatile day on Tuesday, moving between $3.53 and $4.31. On Tuesday, the stock price of Plug Power increased by a significant 21.9%, going from $3.47 to $4.23. Throughout the day, it fluctuated by 22.1% from its lowest point at $3.53 to its highest at $4.31. However, it's worth noting that the stock has fallen in 7 out of the last 10 days, resulting in a decrease of minus 28.18% for this period. Additionally, there was a decline of minus 6 million shares in trading volume on the last day, with a total of 77 million shares being bought and sold, amounting to approximately $325.03 million. This decrease in volume on higher prices could indicate a divergence and might be an early warning of possible changes in the next couple of days. Let's take a look at the stock's performance over the past 52 weeks. The highest price reached was $18.88, while the lowest was $3.22. Currently, the stock is trading at 77.6% below its 52-week high, which is a difference of $14.65. Furthermore, it is also trading at 94.4% below its all-time high, which was achieved on January 26, 2021, when the price hit $75.49. Today, let's talk about the latest analyst ratings for Plug. RBC Capital recently gave Plug a sector perform grade with a downgrade action. Needham, on the other hand, rated Plug as overweight with a hold action. Susquehanna provided a buy grade for Plug with a hold action. Back in August, Morgan Stanley gave Plug an equal weight grade with a hold action. And also in August, RBC Capital rated Plug as outperform with a hold action. Analysts have given Plug Power stock a general buy rating. They highly recommend buying the stock based on its strong PE ratio and price to book ratio. However, when it comes to return on investment, the analysts have a more neutral stance. Today, we're going to discuss plug power and some important signals that have been identified for this stock. Let's start with the positive signal. A buy signal was issued from a pivot bottom point on Monday, November 13, 2023, and the stock has already risen by 21.9%. This indicates that there may be further rise until a new top pivot is found. However, it's worth noting that the volume fell during the last trading day despite the price gain. 
This creates a divergence between volume and price, which could be an early warning sign. Therefore, it's important to closely monitor the stock's performance. On the other hand, there are some negative signals that should also be considered. Both short and long-term moving averages are showing sell signals, indicating a more negative forecast for the stock. Additionally, the relation between these signals shows a general sell signal, as the long-term average is above the short-term average. In terms of resistance levels, we can expect some obstacles at $5.10 and $6.37. However, if the stock breaks above any of these levels, it will issue by signals. Lastly, the three-month moving average convergence divergence, MACD, is currently showing a sell signal. Today, I want to share some interesting signals that you might find useful for your investment decisions. Let's start with the moving average convergence divergence, which is currently indicating a sell signal. Another signal worth noting is the pivots, which gave a buy signal two days ago. In terms of Bollinger, there was a buy signal 32 days ago. Looking at the short-term moving average, it gave a sell signal six days ago. As for the long-term moving average, there is no recent sell signal available. The relationship between the short and long moving averages is currently indicating a sell signal. Now, let's shift our focus to the 12-month chart analysis. The short moving average gave a buy signal 9 days ago. On the other hand, the long-term moving average gave a sell signal 69 days ago. The relationship between the short and long moving averages is showing a buy signal 56 days ago. If you want to explore more signals, remember to visit our page at stockinvest.us. Support, Risk, and Stop Loss for Plug Power Let's talk about the support, risk, and stop loss levels for plug power. On the downside, the stock has some support just below today's level. There is accumulated volume at $3.53 and $3.47, which may act as a support level. However, it's important to note that there is no support from accumulated volume below today's level, which increases the risk. If the stock drops below the support at $3.47, there is a possibility of a significant drop in the stock price. Plug Power is a highly volatile stock that can experience significant price movements throughout the day. The Bollinger Band, which indicates the prediction interval, shows a very large range for this stock, classifying it as very high risk. In the last day, the stock had a price range of $0.780, or 22.1% between its high and low points. Over the past week, the stock has shown an average daily volatility of 15.37%. Before we discuss the potential trading levels for plug power, let's take a moment to understand some key fundamental data. Firstly, let's talk about the price-to-earnings ratio, or P-E ratio. This important metric compares a company's current stock price to its earnings per share. A negative P-E ratio indicates that the company has negative earnings or is operating at a loss. It's not uncommon for established companies to face temporary downturns, often due to external factors. However, consistently negative P-E ratios may indicate inadequate profitability and potential bankruptcy risks. In other news, the upcoming earnings report for the fourth quarter of 2023 is scheduled for February 28, 2024. Today, we'll be discussing potential day trading levels for plug power. When analyzing the stock, we can see that there's no significant resistance from accumulated volume above. This means that if the right conditions are met, the stock could experience a swift upward movement. If you decide to enter a position, keep an eye on the volume to determine when to exit. On the downside, plug power encounters its first support level at $3.53. If this support level holds, it could present a good entry point for traders who anticipate a rebound. According to multiple analyst sources, Plug Power has received a buy rating on average. Now, let's dive into some recent insider trades. The most recent insider trades involve Kenosis Gregory, who both bought and sold a total of 143,964 shares or options in the company. Analyzing the 100 most recent insider trades, we've determined a positive insider power ratio of 75.143. In total, 
insiders have purchased 8,012,393 shares and sold 1,119,279 shares in the last 100 trades. We have a negative evaluation for this stock, and it is important to note that no stop loss has been set. Is Plug Power stock a good buy? Plug Power currently shows several negative signals and is experiencing a significant downward trend. As a result, we anticipate weak performance in the upcoming days or weeks. Our evaluation of this stock has been downgraded from a strong sell to a sell candidate. Based on our analysis of volatility and recent market movements, we consider the current price to be overvalued. On Wednesday, November 15th, we expect Plug Power to open with a decrease of $0.207, starting trading at $4.02. Before we begin, it's important to remember that trading comes with a high risk of losing money. It's always a good idea to consult a financial advisor before making any investment decisions. Please note that StockInvest.us should not be the sole basis for your investment choices. By accessing and utilizing the information provided, you acknowledge and accept full responsibility for your own investment decisions. Welcome to Stock Invest. Today, we'll be discussing our current view of a specific stock. We're excited to hear your thoughts, so make sure to comment below and share your opinion. We're also curious about your target for this stock. Don't forget to like and subscribe to our channel for more valuable content. With best wishes for successful trading, have a wonderful day from all of us here at Stock Invest.